It's the SEC on ESPN from Bryant Daly Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The matchup tonight, the number 11 team in the country, Mississippi State, coming in against the number one team in the land. Technical points, you have to knock them out. Devin Bell to kick. 97th all-time meeting. One of the oldest rivalries in the SEC. And we're underway. Cyrus Jones about two yards deep. Across the 25 and down the sideline. Kicker's going to try to drag him out of bounds and will. But he got all the way out to the 40 to 41 yard line. With Eddie Lacy with McCarron. He pump fakes and throws a screen back to Lacy going to the left side. Looked like he'd lose yardage, but he's dragging people out to the 47 for a pickup of six. Led by Barrett Jones in the center, about to snap it to McCarron on a second down and three. A stretch play to Lacy. Got the first down. And a couple more. Pick up a five. In the hands of this Mississippi State defense. Alabama, 46% of their third down conversions this year. They've already converted one tonight. McCarron is flushed out of the pocket. Does a little traffic direction, trying to get a block. And did he tip to out of bounds? Good enough for the first down. It looks like he might be a foot short. So fourth down, less than one. And now the shift comes to the other side. And they're definitely strong to the right, as Todd said, including Fluker. Both tight ends join him over there. Fourth and short. Lacey goes that way. Wow, Boy, he had early. I think he got it, but he didn't get it by much. D. Arrington for the drive continues here for the Crimson Tide. Both wideouts to the top of your screen. As they work from just outside the Mississippi State 35. Play action. McCarran. Long ball on the sideline, and it's brought in by Norwood. Nice throw and catch to the 21, a pickup of 15. Really nice. The drive that's carried them from their own 41. And in the shotgun, McCarron. Draw play, Yeldon. Cuts it outside, inside the five, and touchdown. Didn't take too long, did it? Jeremy Shelley in for the point after. Kick is perfect. The drive was at the great field position for the Bulldogs on their first offensive series. Blitz already coming. He's going to throw, completes out to midfield. And that's where there is Perkins, the guy that's leading. Best ball in their three SEC games. So Mississippi State and Alabama territory. Play action. Russell fires, completes. It'll be very close to a first down. To Sylvester Hampfield. Four receivers for Russell. They fake the draw. He stands tall and goes deep. And he's got his man down the sideline. Complete to Chris Smith. What a throw and catch. Over a couple defenders. Wherever he goes. Bumpus is stacked up to the top. As one of the two receivers that way. Russell goes to the corner of the end zone for Bumpus. And it's too far in front of him. Incomplete. C.J. Mosley. Alabama's only given up three points all year in the first quarter. We saw that last week in Tennessee. And now they block the kick. D. Milner with a block. They still have. Right now, Alabama on the march here, leading by a touchdown. Play fake. Quick throw out in the flat again. And that is the tight end, Michael Williams, who had a touchdown catch last week against Tennessee. Play, so second down and three. And an end around coming. Jones, he's got the first down. Christian Jones, Deontay Skinner made the tackle, but he, they'll move the sticks again. See, they run for a freshman receiver for Alabama in the game we saw last week at Tennessee. McCarron, plenty of time. Long ball. Man out there, he's got him on the fly. Kenny Bell. Touchdown. 50s. Another 80 yard drive by Alabama. Extra point is up and good. I'm thinking about a blitz off the corner. Now Perkins comes over and sets in the slot. Russell waits and fires. Would have been a great catch. Yeah, that was, was a flag. Yep. 
Arcedo Clark, the intended receiver. They fake the draw. They want to throw a screen, but they have to throw it away. Alabama was waiting on it. Perkins would have been the intended receiver. And C.J. Moe. Now it's Tyden Williams on the move on second and ten. That will be what they do. And Yeldon might get the first down anyway. He does. Goes for 12 or 13. From just outside the Mississippi State 35. And McCarran off play action is going to take a shot. Deep down the middle. Perfect strike complete to Amari Cooper down to the 11. Good call, Todd. Out at eight. Bama at the Mississippi State nine yard line. McCarran lobs it. Williams, touchdown. Something happened to Jonathan Banks, too. I, I think he was either fooled by the. Extra point is good. Alabama all over the Bulldogs right now with 13. Tendency to make you tight. Second and 15, play fake. Russell, pressure, down he goes at the five. Denzel Duvall, a freshman linebacker with a sack. I think they just play this safe and try to kick here on third and 23. Nope, they're going to throw from the end zone. Incomplete. Hubbard, eight. second down, 11. Play fake and a bootleg by McCarry. He might just keep this. There's a lot of green in front of him. It closes in a hurry, but he does pick up four. Started in a pistol set, and that Perkins again goes up to the top of your screen. Russell hits one of the on rushing linemen. Jesse Williams, the big nose tackle, swats that one. If we say one more thing about him, he's going to bench press one of us yeah. when the game is over. Put whatever he wants on the side. You bet. We're going to argue with him. Second down in a yard. Going to go deep. McCarron. Jones with a catch. And he made it at the 22. Sliding out of bounds. At the Bulldog 22. They fake it to Yeldon. McCarron throws complete to Williams at tight end. He stepped out of bounds at the. They'll take this snap with about a minute left in the half. McCarron, pressure coming. Had it batted down by Cameron Lawrence, the outside linebacker. Hold. It'll be a 34 yard field goal attempt to try to make it 24 to nothing. Kick out of the way, and it's perfect. So last year, it was a 24 to 7, Alabama 6. You got to be really careful if you're Tyler Russell. The fans are aware of that here at Bryant Denny. Again from his own end zone. Throws a strike, and it's a first down. And off comes the helmet of D. Miller. He'll have to go out for a play. They hustle up to the line. And Perkins pops through there. So Sarah made the stop again, but he got three yards on the carry. Yeah, that, that quick. Empty backfield. Russell has time, throws high, but caught by Green, the tight end. And a pickup of around six. What you have around the box, that makes it very difficult if you're an offense going against him. Second and four for Russell. They bring an extra rusher, and he's going to get leveled, but he got the pass complete somehow. Clark and Nico Johnson really blasted. Mentally sound, plays with great hands and leverage. Tenth play of the drive, play fake, and the throw to the far side. Complete to Green. Green on the sideline gets a first down. Stays in bounds. He didn't have a lot of room to work over there, but he tiptoes down the sus once. Play action, wants to go deep. On the sideline, he's got a man open and it's complete to Chris Smith. And Chris Smith drags a couple of tied players to the 13 yard line. Got it away, play fake. Trouble in the pocket. And he throws and it is caught somehow at wow. the six yard line. I don't know how he got that pass away and I don't know how, Chris, but they're going to have to fight for this touchdown. Third and goal. They fake the toss. They throw to the end zone, and it's intercepted by Lester. Oh, the first interception in 135 tosses for him. Here's Yeldon. Wow. His feet are quick in the hole, and now they're quick to the outside. 
T.J. Allen across the 40, all the way out to midfield. 4 nothing, Alabama. In the waiting moments of the third quarter, A.J. McCarron, pressure coming from behind, and down he goes. And it's Cameron Lawrence, one of the few people that's put some pressure on him tonight. That's a long, couple negative plays. Not many teams have done that to them. Three wideouts and a tight end out there for McCarron. who got all kinds of protection, but he's going to come to Lacey across the middle, and Lacey gets down close to the first down, a couple yards short. If A.J. doesn't come back out, Blake Sims would be the guy that we had, would anticipate would come in for Alabama. And Dell, really a short kick this time. Trying to clear everybody out of the way. And now Alabama, Robert Lester's the guy that ended up with a football, but let's see. I don't know. They're, they're saying they got the ball, but I didn't see it hit a Mississippi State player. Two quarterbacks in the game. Ely is the other quarterback out wide. Sims goes straight ahead after he fakes the fly sweep to Cyrus Jones and boy it was everybody's got to start to believe huh I think believe in them and believe in Kansas State everybody's known about Alabama nobody's doubted Alabama but those two teams have been now is into the words with friends thing which a lot of my family's into as well so is Holly she's going to challenge him I'm sure for the rest of the year that pass to Lacey on the run Eddie Lacey's gone touchdown Alabama Philip Ely, 27 yard touchdown pass. I wasn't sure Lacey was going to be. Shelley in for the point after. The kick is good. They only had to go 28 yards. Follow quarterback was in there taking snaps from the shotgun, Blake Sims, and then when he got under center, he threw a touchdown. Here's Lewis from the five yard line. Lewis pops through. Out across the 40 to the 41. And the ball comes out. Does Alabama have it again? Nice return. And then he coughed it up at about the 42 yard line. And Alabama's got it. They came into the game leading the nation in turnover margin with plus 17. You can't beat Alabama if you don't take care of the football. A big hit. I think Sinceri came up with it. The helmet right on. That's a wide the receiver, Christian Jones, yeah. who put the hit. The winning streak, and now they take away the hopes of the Sooners. Yeah. Any kind of hopes they had for BCS championship game. And first down run by Yell. Let's check in with Holly. For Mississippi State, this was the beginning of a really tough stretch of football games in their schedule. And they're going to have to regroup after their first loss of the season. Drake, another freshman, blasts his way for 11 more yards. Tonight stuff. First down at the 18. High snap. Sims pulls it down, goes straight ahead, spins his way for three, maybe four. Tough run. Maybe more than that. I know, away. I know. I was sitting there thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, nice move in the hole by Drake. And he's got it first and goal at the seven yard line. Might be more important because, regardless of what we do in this one, that one looms large. Drake's going to just cruise into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Four yard scoring run by the third string tailback. Drive again with eight plays in almost five minutes. And the extra point is good. And it goes to 38. Josh Robinson in there behind Prescott. They fake it to him. Prescott throws complete this time. That's first down toss out to the 48 yard line to Johnson on the arm. To gain over 300 yards of offense. Wow. That was Georgia Southern who runs a triple option. Everybody else they've held under 300. Well, here comes another possible turnover. Prescott got back on top of it, way back at the 45-yard line. Pump fake, and now deep throw in the middle, and a good one it is. Lewis with the catch, and it is a first down. Nice throw by Prescott. Yep. Tonight, they have ended in disaster. Josh Robinson to the outside, and now a first down run, and he's still taking would-be tacklers down to a first as well first and goal 
Prescott rolls, throws to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. And it's Robert Johnson who had three catches on this drive. Bell to try to cap off the only scoring drive of the night and does as Mississippi State goes for it on the play clock. You're going to have to take one more snap, coach. Alabama ran the ball their final 15 snaps from scrimmage as we've got a flag down. Five yards, still second down. All right. Because the foul occurred inside of the fourth quarter, it'll be a 10 seconds for traction for the game clock. Ball game is over. So, Nick Saban, who will turn 61 on Halloween, has another treat to add to his bag of tricks here tonight. 38 to 7.